Let's start cooking kabocha squash or Japanese pumpkin. And kabocha squash is similar to what we know as butternut squash right here. And this is how the kabocha squash looks like. And this is tasting like chestnuts. And it's so full of nutrition, vitamins, and minerals. And the ingredients here is, first of all, I'm Juanita, yes, that's me, speaking to you over the video, the author and the writer of this beautiful cookbook of my beautiful and beloved mom, my beloved mother, Mrs. Theodora Gutierrez in her delightful food recipes in this beautiful cookbook mom and chef nana Nene theodora of philippines cuisine cookbook recipes available in all online stores worldwide in ebook kindle paperback format and at her daughter yes that's me speaking to you over the video amazon author central page and let's start cooking kabocha squash in coconut milk with garlic, onions, sprinkles of different spices such as oregano, very good to our heart, and naturally pure crushed red pepper, Italian seasoning, really good to our wonderful, beautiful, good health, and basil leaves and also coconut milk with some apple cider vinegar. Oh, this is so heavenly delicious and so very nutritious for all of us. The bocha squash is so tasty, nutritious, and delicious. It tastes like chestnuts and it has lots of minerals and vitamins very good for all of us and so you could cut this in different shapes that you want and then you add all the spices and salt and pepper to taste and with onions as well onions are really good antioxidants as well and all this beautiful god god's blessings of vegetables and fruits and spices so good for all of us for our good health so let us enjoy cooking kabocha squash otherwise known as japanese pumpkin very similar to butternut squash and you know we all we we have excuse me please i have i'm so excited cooking one of my favorites of my mom's very delicious food recipes kabocha squash in coconut milk and coconut milk is also very good to our good health and you could research that as well online the benefits of all god's blessings of our food really very good for our good health especially the spices italian seasoning rosemary oregano red pepper basil leaves pine coconut milk good for our heart and apple cider vinegar very good antioxidant so it's so easy to prepare and cook kabocha squash japanese pumpkin and it, it doesn't take much time to to cook or soften this kabocha squash. It's all up to you if you want it half cooked. Some want the squash to be really soft to make it as soup as well. And kabocha squash is also good for our good eyes 
we, we have a Philippine song that says, if you eat squash, you will have very clear vision. I learned this when I was studying this during our elementary days. And I put as well a touch of the extra virgin olive oil right there. Oh, this is so heavenly delicious. And this is, as you can see, simmering. And pretty soon, it's ready. Excuse me, please. I am excited to, to dine with this very nutritious kabocha squash in coconut milk and spices as well. Very good to our good health. And it doesn't take much cooking for our kabocha squash and this is ready for plating. Come on and eat. Enjoy life. Enjoy cooking. And happy dining as well. I inherited mom's uh, technique she just calculate everything. She doesn't have to use any measuring tools because she has been cooking since she was a little girl. She's an only girl. That's why my grandparents taught her everything in the kitchen, how to sew. She has a sewing machine as well. And she knows how to make dresses. I'm touched so my voice a little bit quiver. And she loves to cook as well and her brothers and sisters, I mean she's the only sister, uh, girl so all her brothers, my uncles, really love her cooking just like my grandma. And they, they tell their wives, why can't you cook like my sister? jokingly and lovingly as well oh this is so beautiful golden kabocha squash in coconut milk this is so heavenly delicious you're gonna fall in love with this you're gonna love it and coconut milk is so good for our heart as well speaking about valentine's day happy valentine's to all of you not only in february 14 but every day it's love day, love and respect for everyone because God is love and all who lives in love abides in God and God abides in him or her always because God is in our sacred hearts and sacred minds. So this is so aromatic and flavorful whenever you cook in coconut milk, the vegetables, the aroma is such so heavenly, delicious, very flavorful and aromatic. It's a joy to cook, especially if you're cooking kabocha squash, very colorful, natural coloring, very good for our good health. And this is almost done. The garlic I ordered in California, it's organic as well. And I keep this skin and then when it's cooked, then I toss it because mom said the, the skin of the garlic right here has all the vitamins and nutrients in it. Antioxidants just like the onions. Oh, this is so heavenly delicious. Look at the texture of the kabocha squash as it is simmering in the warm pan. This is so heavenly nutritious, flavorful, aromatic, and full of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, phytonutrients, very good for our good health. God is so good to us. We thank 
our source energy. We call God who does not even want to be worshipped. We thank all our galactic family and stars in the heavenly solar systems. We also thank the angelic realms, our ascended masters, Jesus, Buddha, whoever you are accustomed to the call. We also thank the nature kingdom beings, the plants, the animals, the elementals such as the hobbits and the crystals and our Lemurian family underneath Manchester and California and Carlos, they all gave us this food because our plant kingdom, this is where we got the kabocha squash as well. Oh, this is so aromatic, very delicious. And you could eat this with rice if you would like, or a toasted bread if you would want, or some pasta if you would like as well. Or you could just eat this as it is. It is just heavenly delicious. Oh, look at this thing. Coconut milk has turned yellowish and golden. The nutrients of the kabocha squash, all kinds of squash, they are all very good for our good health. The yellow tannin of the squash is very good for our clear eyes. This is just wonderful to see as the kabocha squash is cooking and simmering. And the smell and the aroma of the coconut milk, the onions, the spices, the kabocha squash, it's just heavenly. Very nutritious, very colorful very attractive as well nutritious that's the best part of it and also with the the garlic the smell of the garlic very very good to our good health it has lots of vitamins and antioxidants as well and the apple cider vinegar organic apple cider vinegar is also good when you pour in a little about two spoon full or three spoonful of apple cider vinegar with the coconut milk you just let the, the apple cider vinegar in the pan without stirring it yet because when you stir it right away the the taste of the apple cider vinegar will not penetrate the vegetables so even though you you put a lot of vinegar and you keep stirring it when it has not warmed up then the taste of the vinegar will not go through so the technique and the the secret of mom is when she pour the vinegar she just leave it there without stirring it and then she starts stirring the vegetables whenever the food has warmed up like this and it is boiling such as this oh this is so heavenly delicious you're going to fall in love with this ready this is it looks like it's almost ready for plating this is so very good really good mm. so yummy in philippine cuisine it means delicious masarap yes yum delicious wow this is 
So heavenly delicious this part of heaven. Kabocha squash and coconut milk. Coconut milk is, well look at the syrup. So good. Coconut milk is very prevalent in the Philippines because we are all surrounded with coconut trees. And the coconut has lots of uses. It's made with, the houses are made of coconut palms and the coconut milk is just very nutritious for all of us. So this is ready now for plating. I'm inviting you all. The steam is going to our camera. I'm inviting you all. Let's dine. Let's eat this so nutritious, heavenly delicious kabocha squash in coconut milk with garlic, onions, and spices, extra virgin olive oil, and apple cider vinegar. This is so heavenly delicious. Come on and eat. Happy cooking. Happy dining. Enjoy life. Enjoy this kabocha squash in coconut milk. And you can see I included some of the the seeds of the kabocha squash because the inside rind of the seeds is very healthy for all of us. So when it gets soft and you could eat the inside and then toss away the shell afterwards. This is so heavenly delicious. Happy cooking. Happy dining as always. We're all invited at my table. Enjoy this so nutritious, so heavenly delicious this side of heaven. Kabocha squash in coconut milk. This is ready for plating, ready for our dining table. And I'm, I am inviting you all, come on and eat. And enjoy this kabocha squash in coconut milk. Mmm, yum. I'm going to turn off the, the oven now and let's enjoy this kabocha squash in coconut milk. So nutritious, so heavenly delicious. This is the way to cook kabocha squash in coconut milk. So tender, so good, so nutritious. Yum.